In this section on our video on pelvic stabilization, we like to discuss how to derotate an anteriorly tilted pelvis. There's four techniques we're going to be doing of joint mobilization for this technique. What we want to discuss for a moment is when the pelvis is anteriorly tilted, there's a lot of stress that's placed on the SI joint. So what we're going to try to do now is derotate the pelvis and take that stress right off of the SI joint. We're going to be doing four things. I'm going to demonstrate on the model here. Number one is we're going to take our hands like this, lateral to the anterior superior iliac spines on both sides, and just do a motion like that, gentle. That would hopefully open up the posterior some. Next is we're going to have the client bend the knee, but don't bend it yet. We're going to come in and we're going to take our fingers and hook the on the side you're working on, right above the ASI, uh, PSIS. Then we're going to be hooking a little distal to the anterior superior iliac spine on the anterior here, and we're gonna do one of those motions. That will definitely take pressure off. Number three is we're gonna have the person sideline. We're gonna do a term called driving the bus. You're gonna be above the greater trochanter, and we're gonna take our hands and derotate this way, turning posteriorly to take the pressure off that SI joint. And fourth is we're going to have the person sideline again. We're going to hook on the ASIS, just distal to it, and our other hand, our, in this case my right hand, is going to derotate this way. These two sideline positions, the client can do a pelvic tilt. Just practice that for a second, like a pelvic tilt. Pelvic tilt. So the pelvic tilt will allow more space here along with these joint manipulations. So the first one will be here and here on the anterior superior iliac spine lateral, but gentle, and you're going to kind of come together, number one. Number two is we're going to have the client bend the knee. As I demonstrated, we're going to hook just above the SI joint and just below the affected side of the ASIS, and we're going to do a motion like that. And that should take that pressure off, so we're going to have a roll a little bit. I'm hooking above, it might take a couple times of practice, and I'm hooking. Now I'm just distal to the ASIS, and I'm going to do one of those types of motions. So I'll demonstrate that again. Like this, coming on. So my hand that is on her sacrum is just above lateral part of the sacrum where the SI joint is. This thumb is just distal to the ASIS and I'm going to derotate. Three, we're going to have them lie sideline, so face that way please. We call this driving the bus. You're going to be above the greater trochanter. If you're below, you're not accessing the derotation portion. So we're going to be above and we're going to drive the bus, kind of like turning the wheel posteriorly. They could do a little gentle pelvic tilt. Okay, so pelvic tilt, pelvic tilt. And we're driving the bus. We're taking the pressure off the SI joint. Taking the pressure off the SI joint. Number three. Four, we're going to be hooking just inferior distal to the ASIS. This hand, my right hand in this case, is going to be right on the ASIS gently, and we're going to do a motion like this. They could pelvic uh, tilt as well to take that pressure off. So we're going to have the client line her back. Demonstrate one more time. Number one, coming in here. Trying to open up that space in the posterior. Number two, derotation. We're going to hook this way. So my hand is above the ASI, uh, PSIS. ASIS, derotate. They can also do a pelvic tilt as well. Number two. Lie on the side, please. This one for sure, we're going to be above the greater trochanter. And we're going to come in and derotate, derotate, derotate. As a client does a little pelvic tilt, derotate. Number four. We're going to come here and hook gently. You don't want to mash in here too hard, A, ticklish, B, pain and they derotate as we pull this way. We're going to go like that, and they pelvic tilt, and we derotate. Yeah? Like your back, please. So what that'll do, in the anteriorly tilted pelvis, 
what all this will do will hopefully make some more space where the iliac bone and the sacrum meet to take some pressure off.